Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unreal Cousins. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up um, iOS Game Center leaderboards in Unreal Engine. So, to get started, you need to um, have your build uploaded to Unreal Engine. I mean, uh, App Store Connect from Unreal Engine. So, you'll see your, all your builds under the activity thing over here. And basically, um, you want to have, yeah, you just want to have your build um, on here. And you want to have a leaderboard or at least you're going to create a leaderboard so hit the plus button next to leaderboard and hit classic leaderboard hit choose uh, you don't want to do this one probably because it's going to reset the score uh, every once in a while so yeah you probably want it to be a new keep the score over and over again so yeah we're gonna click on the leaderboard um, so you, you'll, yours will just open something that looks like this it'll look a little different because yours is being edited but you just want to put in the information here so for leaderboard reference ID and leaderboard ID just put in the same thing and I'd say just do HS or something like that something simple that you'll remember and I believe capitals do matter here um, and then you want to do integer because that's what Unreal Engine does and then you want to do um, best score and high to low because best score will show the best scores at the top or actually no this is it'll show the best scores at the top if you do high to low and then this one will show uh, the best scores and then you want to hit add a language and um, you want to do English probably and then yeah you want to do English you just say high score this is what the people will see so yeah just call it high score and then do an integer with these weird numbers over here. I don't really know what it is. Then um, for this, I'd say point, and for this one points. Even though I did points for both of them, I realized that this one should be point because um, this one is like if I have one of something. So the leaderboard's gonna show like if you have ten points, it'll show this space this, and if you have one, it'd be one space point. So you probably want point here. Okay. So save that. Mine is not going to let me because I didn't make any changes. But it's okay. Because now I'm going to show you what you need to do in Unreal Engine. So open up Unreal Engine and go to your project uh, here. And then oh, go to the... Um, you can use either like a game instance or a player character or just anything that happens when the game starts I'm just gonna use my level blueprint for this because I already did it here so um, you want to do show external uh, external login UI and you want to get player character or controller sorry uh, so this what it's gonna do is it's just gonna show the thing on the top that says um, welcome back whatever your username is the game center thing that shows up in the top and that way it won't give errors saying you're not logged in because you want to be logged in so yeah that's what you need to do and then another thing you'll want to do is make a button that shows the leaderboard so I made a widget here in this widget uh, I can go back to the level blueprint here uh, after this we're creating this widget and adding it to the viewport so this widget is going to show when the game starts and it has this called show leaderboard and what show leaderboard has is when it's clicked it's going to do the block called um, show plat plat show platform specific leaderboard screen and then here you want your HS or wherever you put in to App Store Connect uh, here so yeah that's what you're gonna uh, need to put in here and yeah basically just this one thing will show the leaderboard and um, you're gonna need to set the score somewhere so for me I have a save score system thing here so I'm just gonna make it so that when the uh, when the player gets a new high score it just saves their score uh, yeah so yeah here this is where it is so you want write leaderboard integer and again here you want to set it to the same thing you put in app store connect and you put in the last widget it's called hs for me and then 
this uh, this field right here at the bottom that's what is going to be set as your high score so again here when it's setting the high score it's gonna put it in there if you don't have a high score system it won't matter because you can just put in the normal player score like if you have every time the player hits the screen score goes up by one right you probably won't have that but if you did you could say like uh, input touch and then um, do this and you just set the score to your score variable which is going up by one every time the player touches the screen um, it's still just going to show you the highest one that each player has so you don't need to put a high score in here and then yeah you need to get player controller and I believe that's all so close out of that package it for iOS and uh, you'll just upload it to App Store Connect you'll see it over here um, for the leaderboard status to change to live you actually need to um, get it approved by the app store but you can do testing without it live like you can you know see if it works at least it should show you as the f the best because you're the only one using it at that point um, if you go over to the app store to select your leaderboard you, there'll be like a select leaderboard button here and you just need to select your leaderboard and you need to do this before you um, before you submit it for review to the app store because that way they'll include it in your shipping build that anyone could buy on the app store so yeah just make sure to add it here and that's pretty much all um, in the future in the next few videos I'm gonna plan on doing more iOS videos but yeah if you missed the last one it shows how you can package your project for iOS from a Mac and then um, upload it to the app store connect and you can use test flight and publish to the app store so yeah watch that if you need to and then in the next video I think I'm gonna do uh, how to do achievements so like you have some games it'll say like at the top wow you unlocked a new thing because you um, <laughs> I don't know you got a new score of 500 or something so you can make that pop up in Unreal Engine as well and I also am going to do maybe I'll do a video on how to do remote compiling so you can compile your project on Windows from a Mac like remotely and then I can do a video on in-app purchases I think so yeah make sure you watch all of those hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you can download my game grapple gun cuz yeah there's all these other ones okay but this one doesn't think that's just a test from the last video um yeah anyway i'll see you in the next video bye bye